Welcome to another episode of Algorithms from the Standard Library, where today we'll be talking about the generator algorithms. We'll discuss standard fill, IOTA, and generate. Let's get started with the simplest one, standard fill. Fill does exactly what it says on the box. It fills a range with the value passed to it. For example, if we pass it a.begin and a.end minus 2 as the range to operate on, we can overwrite the words bits and off with the value supplied as the third argument. Simple and great for initializing or resetting the content of containers at the start of a computation. Just like the copy algorithm, which we talked about a few episodes ago, fill also has a fill n variation, which takes an iterator indicating the start of the range and the length. Other than the different way of specifying the range on which fill n should operate, it works exactly the same as the normal fill algorithm. Of course, filling a range with a single value is a bit boring. So let's quickly move on to a more interesting generator. The IOTA algorithm is used to fill a range with increasing numbers starting at the supplied start value. It is awesome for creating a list of indices by using zero as the start value. Even though IOTA is considered one of the algorithms from the standard library, you can't find it in the algorithms header. Instead, we should include the numeric header to use IOTA. I've used IOTA in the past when I needed to iteratively rearrange the order of big, expensive to copy elements in a container. Instead of moving the real data around in every iteration, I would first create a container with indices for each of the elements in the input. This is where IOTA comes in. Next, I'll do this iterative reordering on the indices, giving me a new container of indices specifying exactly how the big data needs to be moved around, even though the iterative reorder function never needed to process the big data. Now all that's left is to create the output container. Make sure to reserve enough room in it and copy our input elements based on the new indices. For the copying, we'll use a call to standard transform with a lambda that does the translation from indices to the elements from our input. We discussed the transform algorithm in the previous episode. I'll leave a link in the description in case you missed it or want to revisit it. The last and most powerful generator is the standard generate algorithm. Just like IOTA and fill, it operates on an iterator range. But as the third argument, it takes a function which it will invoke to generate each of the elements it writes to the specified range. You can, for example, use a mutable lambda to create a sequence of even numbers. Generate also has a generate n version, which, just like fill n, works by specifying a start iterator and the length. Here we use generate n to add five random numbers to the end of our container. We'll talk more about random number generation and algorithms working with random number generators in another episode. The quick summary is, we want to draw numbers between 0 and 20 using a uniform distribution. We'll use the Mersenne twister as a random number generator. The MT19937 is an alias for a specific configuration of STD Mersenne twister. And then, to actually draw the random numbers from our distribution, we need to pass this random number generator. So that's what's happening here in this lambda. RNG is passed to D, which gives us a random number drawn from the uniform distribution. The reason we need to wrap this in a lambda is because std generate n expects a function without parameters, so we can't pass the distribution directly. That's it for the generators. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly, check out the rest of the series for more algorithms from the standard library. See you next time.